Hello. This video is going to go over how to solve budget constraint problems with a particular problem in mind. So this one gives us information on two different goods, rice and beans. And it shows three different possible bundles that these goods can be purchased at. And then it gives us the price of each of those goods and then it asks us four questions, which I'll go into in a little bit. So first we can see that with the information given, we can choose to buy 12 units of rice with zero beans, 6 units of rice with 4 beans, and 0 units of rice with 8 beans. So the first question here is what is the consumer's income? This is pretty simple to figure out. We just have to multiply how many units are purchased times their price. So for the first one, rice, we can see that 12 times its price of 2 gives us 24. We can then confirm it with the other uh, bundles to see if we get the same. So for this one, 6 units of rice times their price of 2 plus 4 units of beans times their price of 3 that gives us 12 and 12 or 24 again. And finally if we have no rice and 8 beans, 8 times 3 gives us 24. So we can see that each of the different bundles results in $24 being spent. So we can safely assume that the consumer's income is $24. Now we have to draw a budget constraint. So first let's set up our graph. And just to be consistent with the website, I'm going to put beans on the y-axis and rice on the x-axis. And so we have to figure out how to draw this budget line. And so the budget line shows us how the income can be distributed among these two different goods. So we know that a maximum of 12 units of rice can be purchased. So let's put that here with 12 and we also know that 8 units of beans can be purchased. 8. Those are from the first two or from the different bundles given on that table before and we also know that 6 and 4 can also be purchased. So that's if we exhaust our entire income we get this budget line. So that's what a budget line looks like. It's our budget constraint given an income of $24 and a price of rice of $2, price of beans of $3. So you can see 24 divided by 3 gives us this 8. 24 divided by 2 gives us this 12. Now the third question asked us to redraw this budget constraint if the price of rice goes down to $1. So what we would do then is figure out what is the maximum amount of rice that could now be purchased. It's going to be 24. $24 divided by a price of 1 gives us 24. The price of beans hasn't changed, so we still have this same point here. The maximum amount that can be bought is 8, and the maximum amount of rice that can now be bought is 24. So when the price of a good goes down, we rotate that budget constraint out so it intercepts the axes in that new point with the maximum that can be purchased. The last question said redraw if income went to 48. So remember originally income or our budget was $24. Now that's changing to $48. So an easy trick here is to just remember that income doubled so the maximum amount of each good is also going to double. But let's do it mathematically just to confirm our theory. So, if the price of beans is 3, what is 48 divided by 3? That's going to give us 16. Also, we take our budget and we allocate it to all rice. That gives us 24. So our intercepts on the axes are going to be at 16 and 24, which is here and here. So you can see that, ignoring this line right here, when income goes up, it's just a shift out, and since income doubled, the amount of each good we can now consume also doubled. So a 
increase in income just shifts out that budget constraint line.